so we have our horizon line in, of course, and this is going to be our, obviously, our vanishing point. Um, this is going to be primarily our only vanishing point, so you can go ahead and simply label that. And we're just going to create them as, we're going to create this as simple shapes first. So, you know, everything, I mean, you, you can see my cone of vision, which is proper. And I'm just simply going to have, I'm going to simply start off with a simple horizontal line, <clears throat> which will... initially converge to this vanishing point. Oh, actually, we can probably start off with this plane converging to the vanishing point, like so. So this plane going into this drawing will actually converge to the vanishing point itself. Now, we're going to keep all our construction lines in because that would be appropriate. And we're going to have this begin to climb upward. So I'm going to place, let me see, I think, you could probably put a vanishing point towards, let me see. Yeah, I think this will work. Place your vanishing point up here. So let's, let's measure this. Let me, allow me to give you a measurement. So this is a four and a half inches above your horizon line. Again, four and a half inches above your horizon line. This is going to be your trace point. So we'll call this TP. <clears throat> so from here, we will draw lines converging to the trace point, like so. You could actually make this a little bit thinner. I think I made it a little bit too wide, so I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. I don't like how wide I made it. So I'm gonna set up the drawing first and then <clears throat> can modify it as we, move, <clears throat> as we move along, but I'm going to fix this first. I think I'm a little bit too wide with this, so I'm gonna make it about this wide. And I don't exactly have this centered here either. So I'm going to make this just a tad bit thinner. About like that. Okay, I think that works better. So let me erase some of this stuff here. I'm still going to keep my trace point in the same spot, but I want to make this a little bit thinner. I think I'm making this a little bit too wide to begin with. And I don't want to shoot, I don't want to uh, shoot ourselves in the foot. Okay. Visualizing this, I can see that it's a little bit too, too aggressive. All right, so this is going to converge to vanishing point, or single vanishing point. And then this is going to converge to the trace point. right here. Okay, that looks better. <coughs> I don't know, almost, maybe two inches below my, two inches above my, the bottom of my paper. So I would say six inches. This is at six inches um, below the horizon line. Okay, then we have this right here. This is gonna, this is converging upward. 
Okay, this is the bottom of this is the bottom of this um, incline plane. Okay, now we're going to have it plateau again. This is going to be a kind of a short plateau. It's not going to be too. Um, it's not going to be too long because we do want to give it a sense. We want to give this a sense of uh, foreshortening as well. Okay. Then again, this is going to converge to the trace point way up here. So. This is flat. This is convert. This is creating an incline. This is flat again, and now it's creating another incline, which is now going to be above the horizon line. Here, and this will also converge to the trace point, but now this is hidden. These are ghost lines. These are construction lines, of course. These are all construction lines. But now this plateaus again to here. Okay, so let's see what it would look like. <clears throat> I'm going to create some harder edges here so we can identify what is actually going uphill and which one is actually plateauing. Okay, so this is converging to the vanishing point. This is going uphill or to an incline. This is plateauing again. This is flat and parallel with the horizon line again. And then this is converging to a trace point or going uphill again. To right here. So this is flat or parallel with the horizon line. This is converging. This is um, going uphill. This is going flat again or plateauing. This is converging upward again. And then this is going flat. <clears throat> but we're going to still climb just because it plateaus. does not mean that it cannot climb upward or incline. So this part is this, this is the end of the um, plateau right here. And now it converges back up to the trace point again, because now we're going uphill again. Then it plateaus again here. Then it converges to the same vanishing point. But now it's going to be foreshortened quite a bit. Meaning The plateau, or where it does plateau, is not necessarily going to be as deep as the previous one.
then we'll have a plateau again. I'm sorry, we'll have it converge upward again. And this will be the last one, by the way. We don't want to be too obnoxious. <laughs> we don't want to be too aggressive with it to the point where it looks silly. But do streets actually do this? Yes, they do this. Quite remarkably. And we'll have a plateau about right here and actually disappear. Not so much disappear, but when you see a street dissipate this much, it probably means it's going straight again and we made it to the top of the hill. So, <clears throat> this, is, this is flat, this converges upward or uphill goes flat again, converges uphill, then that plateau, because this is past the horizon line, or let's say above the horizon line, the areas where it's flattened begins to disappear because you can't see something that is parallel with the horizon line and when it is above the horizon line. Okay, so if these were build, if this was an actual street, let's let's kind of see what these buildings would look like next to it. Um, I will do this. I'll do I'll do this side first, so you guys can kind of get an idea and kind of get your bearings. But I'm only going to um, I'm only going to do so much. Okay, I'm not going to do all of it. And once you get a feel for it, you guys will understand what, what's going on. Okay, so remember, this is an incline. Okay, this is going uphill. And I have a building here. I'm not going to draw this building right here. And I will actually build, I'll actually create a sidewalk next to this. So this building is about right here. It ended about right here. I think that'll work. That's good. So remember, this is in this is in one point perspective. Actually, let me make this a little bit wider. I'll make it about this wide. Now, eventually I will draw this building here, but we're just gonna keep it like this for now. So I have another building here next to it. Now I will draw the entire, <clears throat> I will draw the entire building so you guys can understand how this, how this works. And I will make, now I'll just do this. This building is going to be a different width. Actually, I think that might be a little bit too wide. We'll do this. There we go. Let me erase this really quick. Okay, and so here's another building here on right behind it. Now all these buildings are converging to this vanishing point.
Now, the structure of, let's say this first building, this built, the bottom of this building, let's say the foundation of this building is still converging to this trace point. But the top of it is not. The top of this building is converging to this vanishing point right here. Okay, so you can actually see the ramp on the inside of it. You can see the, the incline of the structure. And so here's this building. Remember, this building right here is flat. The base is flat. So the base of this one is actually converging to the actual vanishing point. Now you don't always have to do this, but this is one of this is one of the ways that we can illustrate this point of how buildings, street, you know, when you're building streets, that uh, incline. You know, how does it how does it affect the buildings? So yes, you can see this building is quite wide here. This building is even wider. But this building is actually converging to the vanishing point because it plateaus. This building is actually built on this on this uh, incline. And so I'll do this last one, then after that we'll we'll take a break. These, I'm not going to create an alleyway between these buildings either. Okay, the top of the building is converging to this vanishing point. Actually, I'm going to make this a little bit taller. I don't want it to be that low. I want to be able to see the top of the top of the building. Okay, we'll have a go about that high. That works. I will make these buildings at different widths as well. So it will you'll be able to see them uh, differently. Okay, so what is this monstrosity we created, or I created? Let's start off with this, let's start off with um, this building first. And I will probably add on to this building, but I want to at least show the front of it. So it'll begin to make sense for you. Okay, so here's this building. We can see this box. Now these are all just boxes. I call them buildings and it's not, to, it's not really to intimidate you, but it allows us to actually understand this a little bit clearer. So we have this building. The base of it does converge upward because, because it is on an incline. The second building, or this box, is not. This box is not. This box is a little bit wider. You can actually see how wide it is. This whole box, or building, is converging to the vanishing point by itself.
Now instead of multiple vanishing points, we have a single vanishing point, but we also have this trace point above that all of these inclined planes or streets are converging to. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, and here's the last one. So this building is a little bit wider than the previous one. We could see this building here, the width of the building here, and now we can see this width of the building here. It's quite a bit wider. There. Okay. Can you guys see it? Make sense? Okay. So sometimes understanding how incline and decline planes work sometimes can be very confusing. But when you see it like this, and you, you know, when you look at reference images, and then we see this, we can actually see how they're actually related to each other. All of these planes here, I'm sorry, all of these buildings or these blocks, they'll still converge to the top of these buildings or blocks, still converge to the right vanishing point. It's the base of these that will be different, depending on if it's on an incline or if it's straight. Okay, so this one and this one, this building and this building, are actually built on an inclined plane. So the base of these buildings have to follow that path or that, that method of drawing to the actual trace point for the base to make it, to make it work. Still follows the same path as the buildings. So, I'm sorry, as the, as the road. And you do need to follow it. You do need to follow this all the way. So you can have it go up the hill. Like that. So it's very, very important to make sure you draw all of it. Every line, even though if it's hidden. And even if something like a sidewalk dissipates to nothing. Sidewalks also have a thickness that would be really important to um, to draw. So some key points to remember is <clears throat> with this drawing, you have a single vanishing point and you have a single trace point. Make sure to do all the work so you can see everything properly. Meaning you want to make sure you show all of your work and you draw through. That way everything will start to make sense. So imagine if there were two lanes there are two lanes here and you know obviously a dividing line in here so if you have something like this 
and you're trying to figure out where the middle is, do the same thing that we've done before. Make an X from corner to corner to figure out where the center is. And you could do it anywhere. There's the center right here. So if I were creating lanes in the street, I would definitely need to figure out where the center is. That way it can lead me all the way up the street. So multiple vanishing points. In this, in this drawing, it's, um, in this drawing specifically, it's a vanishing point and a trace point. Making sure you draw everything. You can see how I've created this um, this building right here that we don't even see the end of it. We just see the side view of it. And this one doesn't have this one doesn't have one. We have a um, we have it plateaus here. So this could totally be another street. So let me show you that. This could be a corner of a street. Here's a sidewalk. 